Dark Emotion students were surprised by another death in NC State. This is outside the Sullivan Hall Raleigh. NC in the afternoon of Monday. A NC State student outside the Sullivan Residence Hall. The NC State Police confirmed these facts, but refused to comment more about the questions surrounding the cause of death. Death. Another overwhelming blow to the Wolfpack family saw that 14 students after the last school year, with seven suicide. Also see NC State puts more mental health sources after tragic years. When students faced a coroner's minibus and CCBI filling about criminal scene technicians about campus yurt, they returned from holiday weekend. He gave me this dark feeling. The student said Matthew Davis. This may be someone I know. Everyone could be. Davis is an engineering student living in Sullivan Residence Hall. Davis left many questions. I was just preparing for school tomorrow. But then I heard it. That then I heard it. And I am really sorry about it. Anderson said as I walked outside the residence hall. Ethan Slick is senior in NC State. They heard what happened the next day. I heard it from my friends. Ed Ethan said. NC State Chancellor Randy Woodson partly made a statement that said with the sadness I wrote to share a death news in our community. The loss any member of our package is tragic and I accept that this loss is particularly effective for most our residents and housing staff. Business major Jordan Nance is a loss for what should be to stop the deaths of NC State students. Nance. What did they do? This is the only thing I can say. Engineering major Pierce Latta said that the university has made mental health resources usable and tried to help the student body. They really clarified what they're here and we have the resources we need. Latta said Latta. In this academic year, the university added 15 additional mental health clinicians and brought the total to 50.